Hey guys, it's Keisha of Coconut Robot. And today is day two of the 12 days of Scanica, and I wanted to share how I have ventured into the world of applique and embroidery because of my scan and cut. Um, you'll see here I'm using the BES lettering software 3, changing that outline to the applique material, and then I'm able to export that as an FCM, which is the scan and cut, uh, cut file proprietary file type. Um, you can also export as an SVG as well. Um, if you don't have the BES lettering software, you can always save that image and bring it into your Scan and Cut canvas and do an image trace or even print out if you have a printed pattern and scan that in uh, to create that cut file for your fabric as well. And I've gone into canvas and saved my cut file and I've just downloaded that directly to my Scan & Cut machine via the wireless magic that I talked about yesterday during our day one of uh, 12 days of Scan & Cut. I put on my applique material, I just have regular quilting cotton with um, a light uh, fusible on the back and I scanned in my background, just lightened it up to grayscale a bit so I can see a little bit more clearly where I'm placing my applique material and I'm just going to cut that out. Um, I absolutely love being able to cut through my fabric and my applique fusible without cutting through the paper on the back. So it keeps your mat really clean, easier cleanup, um, and you save the life of your mat as well. Uh, that red one I cut through, but here is the light green one with a perfect cut. Um, my competitive nature comes out and I really like to get the best uh, cutting depth as possible. So I've cut my first stitch line there and now I'm going to place my applique material. Um, again, I'm probably breaking all the rules as you've seen in my previous applique videos. Um, I stick my little hand iron in there just to get it warmed up enough uh, to keep it in place, use my fingers to keep it in place a bit more, um, and then I am good to go. Okay, so we've finished our applique design, and I want to share with you just another way that you can use your scan and cut with your applique, and that's really after you've completed the um, entire applique or embroidery, and you want to trim or create um, a cleaner uh, cut on the fabric that you've applique on. So I'm still kind of trying to figure out how I want to hang these two appliques, um, but I knew I wanted to make kind of a banner type shape. Uh, behind them. So I went ahead and just uh, put a rectangle and a triangle together, um, modified and edited and um, kind of warped those shapes a bit until I had what I wanted, welded them together, and then um, saved that. Now I'm going to do a background scan of my completed applique design, and you'll see now I can actually see exactly where that is. So my fussy cutting, super easy. Put that uh, applique design right on top. I'm going to save this, that way if I do this applique again, I already have this pattern ready to go. That background shape will be perfectly in line as long as I line up the deer. And then I can just save it and then delete the deer when I'm ready to cut. And then I go ahead and cut it out and I'm golden. Mm -hmm. 